Hey, hello, welcome back. We're playing, we're playing more slicey, we're playing more dicey. Hopefully you're doing well. It's me, Cranberry. Yada yada yada. Let's let's not delete that too much here. Let's start the game up here. We did I think we won the last run, right? It's been a you know two days since I last played, so wanted to make sure. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, oh it was the fun one with the dragon. Yeah, okay. Um I do want to say one thing before we get too deep into it here. Now, I would, I listen, if you're not watching both this and the 20 Minutes Till Dawn series, listen, I forgive you. It's not required. It's not mandatory viewing, obviously. Um, I need to take top three poison here, by the way. I think out of these, I think this is the safest option. Not too scary. Um, yeah, I had something really weird happen uh, the other day. Um, my, ooh, eh, huh. I'm going to dig for two mana here, I think. So I had something really weird happen the other day. Um, and by the other day, I mean yesterday. Ooh, a text message? Okay, sorry. Work message. You're getting distracted. My bad, my bad. Apologies, apologies. Um... I guess you don't need to burst here. We can pass the turn. So, oh god, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not text messages and playing the game keep getting distracted. So, someone left a a, a, a comment on one of my most recent uh, twenty minute till dawn videos, and it was some of the most unhinged shit I've ever heard in my entire life. So, um, you know, I've been I've been trying to I I, I don't I don't. Inclusive is the wrong word for it because I never felt like I was really exclusive in regards to my content. But I've I've been more self-conscious about being inclusive due to due to the, the the analytics that I have on YouTube. It's a little it it feels weird to have, you know, a, a an extremely disproportionately male audience, which does make sense because, you know. I'm a dude. It's not that surprising, but it, it's something that, you know, is a little weird. And I've talked about it before in the past, but the other day, um, so, so someone just said the most batshit thing, things I've ever seen someone say in a YouTube comment to me before. And if you want, you can go, you can go look at it yourself. I don't want to, I don't want to harp on it. I mean, I'm already harping on it pretty long, I guess right now, but it was just like, it was just, you know. It was some weirdo shit, basically. Is I think the best way to describe it. Um, and it's just like like sexist stuff too, like just like in, like insanely sexist stuff. That's that's what was so weird about it. And it was just like unprompted too. Like that that's it, I don't. It, the whole thing is just really really sketched me out in general. Um. Uh. I, I like both of these items. I think with the scrapper here, I think we take the anchor. Having a having a, a turn one, having a three damage shield bash seems pretty good. So then we snag that. Yeah. Anyway, how are you, how are you doing? Sorry, you're coming in with a weird energy here. Obviously, it was just it was and it was just the most unhinged thing I've ever seen on this on this website by like a large margin. So it did kind of throw me off a little bit, I guess. Um. I think we keep this just to be safe so we can kill the call egg here. I think if we don't kill the egg this turn, I think there's a very good chance we die. Glad we kept it. Oh, we had lethal here with, with this. Never mind. I'm dumb. Guess I'm not dumb, but we could have gotten something better on Scrapper or on, on Squire, I mean. Yeah, whatever. We should be fine here. Yeah, I don't know. Let, let, let's not let's not think about it too much. Let's let's, let's play video game, huh? Is are we okay with that maybe? Slice and dice has been fun though. Eh, okay, I, I I like Bard here. I think I think we've got a decent uh, thing going here. Scrapper and Bard kind of combo all together with the charge shield side, and we have good mana generation, so that makes sense to me. I, I love Bards in every video game I've ever played them in. This is but this game uh, is pr it's I don't like Bard that much. Uh, like in in role playing games, Bard's my go to uh, class. Uh, when I played Final Fantasy, I, I started playing Final Fantasy 14 because I found out you could play a bard in that game. 
So I like I like bards quite a bit, but this game they're a little not a huge lack bit lackluster, but a tiny bit lackluster. If you were to ask me, I'll settle for this. Keep rolling these. Uh, I think we settle here too. Take that. You son of a bitch. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm not angry. Game. Fucking bastards. Okay, anyway. Um, we should be able to kill this alpha, though. I am not too worried about that. I'll take this. I'll take this. I will settle for this here. And we'll roll a shield bash. And be very happy, game. I mean, I'll take that, I guess, too. Whatever. Would have loved shield bash here, but I'll, I will accept the flare. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Another summon from the alpha. We should be able to get the kill here and then kill wolf next turn, hopefully. This is looking pretty lethal. I'll take a heal, actually, here on Bard. Bard's looking a little worse for wear currently. Put that here. Put that here. There you go. Yeah, okay. Wolf, it's time for you to run. You need to leave. I already have lethal here. Hold on. We do not currently... Oh, we do have lethal. What am I doing? There we go. Math. Uh, Remedy versus Fletching. I don't think Fletching is bad. I think Remedy is also pretty solid, though. We don't currently have any cleansing. Uh, we don't have any range, though, either here. Man, I don't actually know about this. This is kind of a tough choice. I'm going to take Fletching. I'm going to take Fletching. I haven't used this very often. Just seems like a nice ability to have. We see like a thorn or something, we'll be very happy we have this. Also, just like just being able to kill backliners is pretty cool. Uh, we'll take. Uh, we can roll. Uh, we'll roll it all. We'll roll it all. Uh, I don't love this. I think it's worth rolling this again. Okay. Well, we got some mana. We can just flare the snake down, which is nice. I accept that. A little greedy on the scrapper reroll there, I suppose, but what are you I don't know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know what? I'll I'll greet it out again here, because like we have the we have the, the, the shield bash here. It's looking like a lot of damage if we can get the shield bash through. And we'll take this too in case we split. There we go, okay. Do some slice in there, and this should cause a retreat. There you go, bud. You can get out of here. Ooh, Rogue or Sparky? I don't like Rogue very much. And this is like sort of like the optimal matchup here for, for, for Sparky is being able to kill his slate for us. Uh, You know what? Sure, why not? I don't know. Let's let's do it. It's time for, it's time for the Sparky sweep. I'll be honest. This fight doesn't seem too tough for us here. And with the shield bash on Scrapper, Big Shield's kind of... Kind of sick with it. But that on, oh, but Scoundrel... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. In the future, I can imagine us getting, like... You know, if we had, like, Roulette, we would love to have this uh, big shield. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I think we can handle the fight. And I, uh, man, I don't know. Oh! Never mind, it's a combo. Oh, not you though. Hold on. Where do we combo? What do we co this one? This one. This is what we combo. Now we've got the combo. Although we are very low mana, which is kind of an issue, but I think this is worth it. I think this will be okay for us. Splint taking some big damage here, but Sparky, Sparky's gonna wrap this up for us for sure. Um We can kill the slate here for free, so I do like that. Let's take this. Ooh, that's pretty good. So we do probably something like this here. Zap the slate down. Lock on splint. This is looking pretty free. This is looking pretty free to me right now. I don't know about you guys. This is looking like I'm actually genius level IQ strats over here. 
Taking the taking the uh, the bonus reward here. Uh, I think we roll this. Uh, we can do better on Sparky. I think this round. Uh, technically, it's a little bit better, so I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Kill here. Sweep. Sweep. Unfortunately, Goblin does not run away yet. But, I mean, like, we have to do one damage. We have to do one damage. I think we can manage it. Maybe I'm crazy here. Maybe. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, there we go. We're fine. That could have been very funny. Um, oh, I, I like Sprout. I'm down, I'm down to be a Sprout gamer here. Um... Put it over on Scoundrel for now. You know what? Hmm. I'm trying to think where we want to put this. Part of me... Part of me says Scoundrel only has two sides, so you don't want to replace one of them. It's not super good value. But, like, this is not terrible either, if you ask me. The Scoundrel... like the, I mean, it depends on the fight. Certain fights, Klee is very good. Certain fights, not very good. I think this upcoming fight is an is a is an is an okay cleave fight. Uh, and maybe we go bard. Maybe we don't care about rerolls with this composition. Maybe we just care about uh, shield value. I don't I don't hate this either right now. I think that's fine for this fu this fight. I don't know. It's a weird one. Rerolls rerolls extremely hard to evaluate how impactful they are. So I I don't know. I don't know if that is right or not. We can roll the rest of these, though, I think. Or not, maybe. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. So, first thing we do is probably... Probably cleave here. And that lets us kill the quartz, which you do love to see. We get some mana. We can zap a snake. And just block on Sparky. Not going too badly. Not going too badly at all, I gotta say. Goblin's coming in pretty aggressive, though, but we do have lethal there. Okay. Boom. Boom. Ooh, Spellblade or Herbalist? Uh, huh. I gotta think about this one for a second, because I think they're both very strong. I think we have the one vulnerable side on Scoundrel, so we have the... We have the vulnerable herbalist combo here, which is pretty good, but it's not super reliable. They both generate mana pretty well, which is good. Because that's the one thing kind of Sparky has trouble with, is actually generating the mana he can use. So both these characters are very good. If I feel like if we had a really good way to benefit off of Imbue here, that'd be great. But all we have is like either the mana gain sides on Spellblade or the mana gain sides on Sparky, which is, in my opinion, not super impactful. I think I got Herbalist. I think it's just a little too good. We'll put this... Doesn't matter too much. Mm. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me... One second. Let me check this text message. It's about work stuff I got going on. Okay. No problem. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um... I guess in theory you want. I mean, I, here's the problem though. There's the there's the flanking attack that the, the slime queen has. I think slime queen has a flanking attack. So I don't think we want to put this on Sparky or Scoundrel. I think we want it in on Herbalist. Yeah, they got a flanker. Ooh, this is a good round. We're gonna do some damage to slime queen here. Hopefully. Okay. Um, I guess we Vine Whip here. I mean, hey, killing killing the queen entirely at round one is pretty good. Slimers are always a little bit scary, but, like, I'm not too worried about that. I guess we just take the Bard Shield here. That's not a terrible value. We can take this one pretty slow. And we should manage to come out just fine. Um... 
Do you have six HP? So we, we, we can't burst into Zap. Yeah, we cannot do that. We can. Mm, we hit you. We can just actually, well, let's just not get too fancy. Let's, let's, let's just kill one. How about that? How about we just kill one instead? And pass the turn there. Ooh, Slime Lip's getting pretty aggro here. What the heck? You want a shield here? It doesn't hurt. We, again, we can play this one nice and safe. We don't have to get too aggressive. Okay, guys, let's roll some not X's, please. Okay. But what the fuck? Put this here. Put this here. Probably heal on Bard there, too. Oh, and we can do this as well. I guess that's fine. Could be worse. Okay, well. Let's roll for vulnerable here. Fuck that. Let's go for let's go let's go bigger go home. Okay, at this point I'll I'll settle. I'm sorry. Okay, uh hit here first. Guess we hit now like this. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Scrapper will live. Oh no, they're all dying. Okay, that is lethal. Hit. Hit. Boom. Okay. Life Bolt versus Magic Staff. Magic Staff's pretty good on Sparky here. They made those those one siders uh plus twos. Um I think it's worth it. That's a good that's a good trade if you ask me. Uh Grave should be pretty easy for us to handle here, hopefully. We have you know, a lot of stuff here. Fanatic also hitting fairly low, all things considered, so that's good too. Um, we can probably do better than this. Let's keep re-rolling. That's not terrible. I would love Sparky to hit a mana side though, but let's see how this looks first. Um, we can kill an imp straight up here, or actually no, we can't. Never mind. Uh, we can kill Fanatic, which I don't love doing. Let me think. I think we do... Maybe just do this. I think we just play this a little bit safer. Let's hit... Mm, let's kill you. Let's hit you. And then let's just bind the grave twice. Seems pretty good to me. I I don't see us losing this any men. I don't see us losing any members from this position. I should say, It'd be pretty tough. And we can just again play this one pretty safe here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Or nothing. What if we did nothing? Is that acceptable? Okay, Imp, what you up to? Hitting for four? Okay. I think this is lethal. Call me crazy. Juggler versus Ranger. I don't respect Juggler. I think Juggler has a huge fatal flaw in that uh, she fucking gets absolutely murked by Spiker, which we're going to start seeing some pretty soon, I imagine. Ranger gives us a four damage option for hitting Zombie 2, which is nice. Scrapper can almost definitely get there anyway, but it's good to have another character who can do it. Yeah, this is a ranger pick for sure here. If you were to ask me, at least, that's what I would pick. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, a lot of damage to the top there, as you can see. Luckily for us, we're still absolutely fucking goaded at the video game. We just, we just killed the zombie. Easy. I think you probably do something like this into this here. And then, I don't know, you just vine once pass. Scrapper getting weakened, obviously unfortunate, but we just need to do one damage. And then our spells get us the rest of the way there. Okay. 
a little bit more than one, but it's also funny to do it this way. There you go. Ooh, blindfold versus sling. I'm a big blindfold fan. It doesn't really do anything for us here, obviously, but blindfold may be the single strongest item in the game if we see uh, Barbarian, which is one of the best characters in the game. I am willing to take it here for that upside. If we get it, if we see the Barbarian, it's just an instant win, which is maybe, maybe not how I should be playing the game. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Do you think it's this is better or worse? This is kind of interesting, right? I think it's worse, right? I think poison is worth single use here. It's already a pretty bad ability to begin with. Let's be honest about it, right? But that's just that's just something that's, that's to me is curious there. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Soodle's hitting weak and hard here, which you do not love to see. We should be able to get some pretty big damage output here, I think. Let's see how this looks currently. We go something like this. We put like maybe like a, a vine here and a vine here. And you go. Uh, then oh, you can you can save spark. This is actually pretty good. I don't hate this. Oh, you, you die because you're actually... Ah, oh, shit. Never mind. I like it less now. Hmm. Okay, let's do it this way instead, then. Let's go like this. And if we burst instead... Yeah, it's like not a terrible line. I don't love it, but I don't know. We could we could risk looking for more damage on Scrapper, obviously, which I think is probably worth doing. But it's, it's not even that great of odds of getting better damage. I don't think we do that actually. I changed. My, oh wait, we have we have Zap. How does Zap look here? Oh, we're still kind of in the same position then, though, where we don't have enough mana to save Sparky. Yeah, I don't think we zap then. Yeah, I think I think this is the best line to take here, which I don't love, but I think I think it's I think we're st oh, man Ban Banshees lately have been kind of scary for me. I don't know. Okay, the first order of business here is making sure we don't lose Herbalist. So we do something like this. Oh, hold on a second. We can we can zap here. Once again, save you. Oh, but you know what we did to do this first. There you go. Can we like super optimize this. Hold on a second. So we did. Then we can we can optimize this a little bit better, I think. I think we do it this way. <laughs> We can do this into this. Oh, you're dying though? Shit, never mind. Never mind. I lied. You guess this is better? I don't know, man. Okay. That's fine, whatever. We got a lot of poison coming in. You do not love to see that. Bard has been absolutely weakened into oblivion, which is also not good news. We might end up losing a character here. 
Can't really defend you very well. Hold on, we might be able to dig our way out of this, though. You know his herbals was that one. Never mind. We just uh, let Scrapper die here, I think. But we should we should have lethal next turn almost definitely. It'd be pretty tough not to from this position. Better luck next time, Scrapper. Mm, oh, we can't even like save you currently. God damn. We can get you to 4 HP here, I think, and then we can we can zap. Let's roll this. Okay, well that's 3 HP, I guess now, huh? So roll again. Oh no, hold on. Okay, that keeps you very much alive. Oh, wait, we can. Wait, can we do... No, we can't do that either. Shit! Nothing works. Just shoot him. Oh, this... Um, okay, never mind. We have lethal. Just stop being dumb. Okay. Uh, Basher, Warlock here. I mean, we... Again, I want to set... Oh, actually, a couple interesting things here, right? Ar arguably worth putting the blindfold on Basher. We lose the shield bash, but Exert just becomes a 7 damage side. I want to hold out for Barbarian, though. Warlock's also just pretty good. So I will take that. I think if we get to... If we get to six mana, Warlock just kills Baron with blazes. Because it's 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 net positive damage, I'm pretty sure. Right? Am I crazy? This is now useless, by the way, but whatever. Um. Yeah. How good does this look? How much do you like this? I don't think I like this, but it's a little interesting, right? Actually, no. Yeah, let's let's hmm. Let's try it. Also, there's like this too, which is kind of funny. Getting rid of the two damage side for four damage shield. Ah, uh, honestly, you know what? I think it's time for shield to go. I think we're in a position here where we get kind of just put AOE damage down, and we care more about the bloodlust than we do about the shield bash. Let's see how this looks. Okay, a lot of... I mean, Bard is just taking huge damage here. We do have the Blaze combo, which is kind of funny. Let's see how this looks currently. Okay. I mean, I don't know about you, but it looks pretty good to me, all things considered, because then we also just get to Blaze a Ghost here, too. I think technically, though... Technically, you do something like this first, so that way this does more damage here. And you blaze there, and I think uh, I think we got this one kind of wrapped up. Oh, we can kill this turn actually. Hold on. Hold on. We can we can we can have lethal this turn. So you do it like this, I think, and then you go like this, right? And then you vine here. Kill here. Blaze again, baby. And then blaze again. Look at that. Turn one Baron kill. Silver Pendant versus Wand Grips. I mean, Scrapper does have the, the shield synergy here. It's not... It, it's worth taking, I think. And I was just saying before. I was kind of like, ooh, who cares about that? Stinky. Uh, it's worth it, though. And now with that in mind... Hmm. I think we do this now. Now that we have like this big shield bonus thing here, now it seems more worthwhile to me at least. Okay, we got one egg hatching, one egg not hatching. As soon as we take it off, dude, as soon as we take it off, motherfucking thorns come in. That's actually incredible. So we're going to shield bash one of these eggs down, so I don't think we even care about the, the AoE shields here. It's not like we need more shields. Um, I don't hate this. Well, we can look for an engage instead. Probably we'd be a little bit better if we could find it. 
I mean, obviously, it would be better if we could find it, so. Let's roll it. Yeah, I'll settle now. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Okay. Kill Egg. Save Ranger. Probably do something like this here, I think. You're immune to spells. I forgot about that. Let's just, uh, let's just take this. Or let's, eh. Sure. No poison. How about that? That seems pretty good. Bar's looking a little worse for wear, though, I gotta say. You don't love seeing that. But it could be better, could be worse. What do we get here from the bard? Something, come on. That's good. That's actually really good. Um, oh, damn, the AoE on that's pretty sick, huh? It's just plus two flat. That is nice. Oh, uh, we don't have lethal here. Uh, but we should be able to kill this egg next turn. Just in time, Caw Egg. Just in time. Boom, boom. Okay, I mean... Bard, Bard has performed... I talk shit about Bard. Bard has honestly performed very well for us this game. It would be hard to dispute that. Uh, but Valkyrie's just fucking god tier, and Ludus is Ludus tier, so... I mean, we gotta take Valkyrie. And Valkyrie... Listen. You can take this too, which is actually really nice. Okay. I like what we're looking at. Mm. Two shield rescue is pretty good. It usually ends up being really solid. But I can see the argument for this too. Just having a flat up four damage here. But I think I prefer the, the rescue shield. I think we just take this off too at this point. I don't know, man. Although now, I mean, eh. This is fine. Let's run like this to see how it goes. I think there's a lot of configurations you can do here that are all reasonable. So whatever. Okay, it's all physical. And it's all big. Coming in here hot. That's pretty good. I we All we gotta do is just save Valkyrie here. And then Valkyrie saves Herbalist. That's not that big of an ask here, I feel like, right? Okay, maybe it's a little bit more of an ask than I realized. Okay. This is honestly not too bad. Valkyrie does live here. Herbalist lives here. We have some damage right out, so that way next round, Scrapper can start doing some numbers too. And if we hit, like, uh, Blaze... Oh, you know what? I should... Put this here, probably. Um... If... If... We can hit, like, enough mana for a blaze. We can get, like, a good overkill in here. And the bandits will run. We do need to make sure Warlock has enough health to not die, though. That's sort of the issue there. If only we... If, he, oh, he does, he does still have the single-use heal. Okay. Well, he needs mana as well. He needs to hit a mana side. Oh, he can hit the, the, the bloodlust side here, and we'd be pretty fine. That would also be acceptable in the, in the given circumstance. Okay. I will accept this. Let's let's just see how things look right now. Because right now, you can go like this into this, and the bandit runs, which is pretty good. As you can see, not amazing. There's still some issues with this with this line. Um, we do something like this. We I think we roll Valkyrie here because we can. Valkyrie's doing nothing right now, right? That's the thing. We just need to get a little bit of value out of Valkyrie here in some way, shape, or form, and we're looking pretty good. Okay, let's see how that looks currently. So it's like here, here, and then... Hmm. Okay. I think... This is this is good. 
I think we can do something like, uh, hold on. We need to go like this into this now. Yeah, if we still lose one then this way. The question is, is, is that acceptable? I think it is pretty good, actually. I think it's fine. I'm going to lose a character here. We should have the dub next round for sure, pretty much. Should have done this earlier, but it doesn't matter too much this fight, I don't think. Put this here. We'll let Ranger die. Ooh, they're coming in pretty hard here, huh? Okay, that's good. Uh... I should I should have actually growth the shield. That was silly of me to not go back and, and do it correctly. I think we'll still be okay, but what are you gonna do? I think you do this. Like this. Eh. Okay, let's look for let's look for a shield bash on Scrapper here. Because the one damage there does pretty much nothing. Unfortunate. Okay. Is it better to mix in a sprout here instead? I think that's an important question. You use sprout instead, how does this look? Well, that actually saves you, so never mind. Oh yeah, this already this already does save you. What am I doing? You do sprout here. Well, that looks better to me, actually. That looks quite a bit better. Okay. I actually feel pretty confident about this line now. And we, we actually should save HP on the Warlock here, probably. Worse so than anything. Okay. Herbal is still at 1 HP, but we only have 1 null to deal with here. Uh... Let's take this and let's roll. Let's roll again. It okay, actually just god gamer status here. We do this. We should just put shields here or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It, it's fine. That kills. Oh, I forgot we had. I forgot we had the 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 armor here. Yeah, shield bash is a lot better with burst now too. I gotta rem remember that as a thing. Iron helm versus charge link. Mm. Kind of sick with it on Herbalist, honestly, but who knows how long we'll be keeping Her uh, Herbalist for. I think Iron, El Iron Helm here is just solid. I think we'll put it on Ranger to help them get through this upcoming fight here. But once we finish this fight, I think it goes on to Warlock here to have a bigger HP pool to, to uh, pull from. I think that should be fine. Okay, Ranger still getting absolutely fucking heat seek down here, which I don't love seeing. Um, I like this though, I think. Or maybe we just reroll for a uh, a death immune side here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we get a lot. We get a lot, yeah. Okay, roll this one more. Warlock. I mean, I think you have the drain side before, but that's still fucked up. We can kill the ghost in a single hit here, which is nice. Does mean that Ranger does not die, which is cool too. I do love Ranger not getting murdered. Does mean Ranger and Ra they're, they're low health. Ranger, Ranger's low health here, to be expected, honestly, considering the situation. Came in with half. They came into the fight with half health, so not that crazy, but it is unfortunate. I will take these. I will continue to roll. That is very good news. Now we can just blaze down the uh, the demon here. Or do we want to even blaze the demon down? Hold on. I don't think so. I think we want to. This is an on hit, right? Yeah. So we want to we want to like that instead, probably. Although, eh. 
Maybe we just honestly, maybe we just blaze the 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 troll here. Just like this doesn't matter the order there. Oh, but then that ranger dies. Shit. Never mind. Okay. Um. How much value do we get out of this here? We can do that. And then. No, you're still dying there, huh? That is unfortunate. Okay. What are our lines? Ooh, here's an interesting line. What if we do this first? Then, oh, then we can't, oh, 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 oh hold on. We do this, then we burst up our boy Scrapper here. Two damage short, damn. Ah! Okay. Mm. Let we go super defensive here. What if we go something like this? And we start sprouting instead. That doesn't look like the worst thing ever. That kills the demon too. I like this. I like this line. That, that's good. I'm sure there's like a probably a slightly better tweaked line there. That gets us through that that wave that that that, that round. Ooh, that's ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's take this again. Let's see if we can hit here. Then we just need to go offense. Oh man, I would love the death wish side here, but I'll just take the I'll just take the immune to death here. That's pretty good. Okay, Scrapper just choking on this fight. Unfortunate. You do hate to see it. Um, I think though we can just make it out of here pretty easily. I think we just go sprout on everyone basically this is why sprout is kind of a goaded spell if you weren't aware it is pretty sick with it we're in a pretty good spot here we can wrap up that round we're very poisoned obviously but i think we can kill the troll faster than he can kill us once we actually get some good damage sides mm, they're, they're coming trust Prefer the shield bash side here, but whatever. We'll, we'll take what we can get. I think it's actually worth rolling for the death wish here. We have to do damage at some point. And we can we can everyone no one's in danger of dying this round, actually. Because of Sprout. Okay, come on. Eh, whatever. Uh, you do this. Do that, I guess, right? And then we just sprout, sprout. Oh, you're you were in danger. Hold on, hold on. Valkyrie, you can take that then, and we'll give the it's you instead here. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna win this. We have won this. Cool, cool. It was only a matter of time. Uh, what do you like here? I like nothing, honestly, here. But I think we'll take Fencer. I think Fencer is actually pretty solid with this, with this, with this team lineup so far. We will take this uh, helmet and, like I said before, put it on the warlock to give it a bit more of an HP pool to work with. And I do kind of like this here. We don't need AOE damage too drastically. It's not bad to have, but I think I think this is better for us. Okay, we got an axe hit coming in. And Fencer's taking a pretty big hit there, too. We should be able to manage this, though, just fine. Um, Prefer a shield side here, if we could find it. And I'll just hold this just to be safe. Okay. So, we take this for sure. Do something like this here, too, I think. Uh, I think we just kill Slate. Do something like boom. Something like that. And then Valkyrie. Did we use all our rerolls? Because we can look for we can dig on Valkyrie then. Yeah. 
No one's in danger of dying, so let's see what we can get here. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Um, hit there. There we go. Start just beating the Troll King's ass here. Should be pretty easy. What's he going? He's going with the with the stop move? Okay. This has to be lethal, right? Yeah, there you go. Extremely lethal on Troll King. Very good. Serration versus Mirror Mask. Uh... It would be pretty funny to have a character who had Valkyrie's moveset, but then Herbalist's spell. That's kind of funny, but I think Serration Herbalist is kind of like an unbelievably strong combo here that we can't ignore. I think we take that. Where do you put Serration now is the question. I think Serration's fine on Fencer here. We do lose that shield combo thing we were just doing. I think that's fine. I think this is an A-OK -okay maneuver for us here. Um... Yeah. We're not like that, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Just, just, just double check and make sure there's nothing else we can do there that's a little bit better. I don't think there is, really. Okay, no lethal damage here round one. You know, that's pretty good news. We'll take these here. Nothing to rescue on Valkyrie, so that's a reroll for sure. Okay, no one to res here, so that's a reroll on Valkyrie for sure. That's a good turn. Okay, so we kill the zombies straight up. That's easy. <clears throat> zombie down, zombie down. I guess we do something like this. Get a little bit of free damage out of it. I mean, I don't know. That look It looks good to me, but who am I to judge, I guess? What do I know? It's just always now versus my whole team with pretty much no damage dealt to them. That is lethal. Okay, level 18. Veteran versus Surgeon. I mean, the, the, the Serration Herbalist combo is just insanely strong. We have the Blindfold for Barbarian, but I think at some point you just got to give up. I just take the good yellow. So we'll do that here. Um. Huh. I'm okay with this, I think, right now. I'm okay with that. I think it is... Uh, I think it's just a pretty safe move. I don't think... Uh, Erebolus is obviously in more danger than Veteran in general, so I think giving it the, the four armor to start with is pretty good. Seems fine. Definitely takes Serration here. I think we have Lethal on whoever we want this first round. Probably whoever's killing Fencer, which I guess is the demon then. Let's just see how this looks currently. What if we spread vulnerable here and do something like this instead? I don't love that, if I'm being honest. That's not like the most amazing line. If we do this, then we can do this here. I think that's pretty good. Let's let's try to get something better on Warlock too. But let's keep the rest here. Okay, that's pretty good. So now things work a lot differently. Now we probably just end up blazing the Basilisk instead. Uh, and then maybe doing double, double vulnerable here, right? And now that now Valkyrie doesn't need the 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 no death side. So we once again go back. Roll this. Worthless, but equally as worthless as before, so whatever. There you go. And, I mean, it's a troll. I think we can handle the troll here. A veteran's obviously injured, so it's, like, a little bit scary, but, like, we have to roll pretty terribly to not get out of this. So I, I personally am not worried. And now, you know, whatever, we'll just save it just to be safe. Oh, it's it's over. Okay. There you go. Time Stone versus Dolphin. Oh, baby. 
I mean, how am I not taking Dolphin here? I think we have a lot of great synergies with it. Like, Fencer right now is, is amazing because we have Warlock as, like, a potential big number that it generates. Yeah. That's just the easiest Dolphin ever. Put this right on over here. How do we... I mean, I, okay, let's not jinx it. We can lose from here, but it's going to be tough, I think. There's for sure potential to lose. Um, okay, let's see how things look. So you slice and slice. And then we've got two mana. So we lose a character currently as it stands. But that's pretty good overall. As long as as long as Warlock hits like something decent here, we should have uh it pretty good. I guess you I guess you re-rolling though on Fencer this round, because the, 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 the AoE isn't that impactful unless we hit like a really big number. I think we keep it though. Okay, that's good. Oh, you know what we can do here? We can hit like uh which bird is doing the most damage? I guess you. Or eh. Who is it? Or no, okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Sorry, let's do this. There we go. Valkyrie's protective. Not that it really matters too much. It does matter a little bit. Mm. I guess you just blast the Banshee here. Everyone takes one damage, but that's... I mean, this is obviously a winning position, so... I am not too, too shook here. This seems fine to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, again, very obviously winning position. Okay, we are against the hand. I think we absolutely smoke the hand with this team comp. I think this is a no pick here as well. I think our our, our serrated herbalist combo is just too strong. These are these are okay picks though, but they don't do anything that, that herbalist doesn't do for us, basically. We're not trying to grind out with Soothe here and like bind is just is just, you know, strange here. Like I don't see why we would take one of these over herbalist right now. And other than that. Let's get in there. Okay, hand is starting first turn summoning. I think we kill the hand turn one. Almost, almost certainly here. Uh, let's just look at this just on its own here. Let's just look at the absolute, like, just destruction that this causes. So we do this. We do this. And there you go. I think we can we can just play like that, honestly. I guess we should look for better things on veteran and herbalist, huh? Yeah, okay. So we keep this, keep this, keep this, roll these two. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. We should use these two before the hand dies. That's important to note. Um we do that do this oh we actually do just win turn one okay very cool goodbye thank you for playing the game with me <laughs> uh, easy peasy I mean serration is just an insanely strong ability too dolphin has you know best item in the game pretty much right and just good characters that can use the items, so pretty cool. Unfortunately, we never got the blindfold payoff, but that is how it is sometimes, right? I don't regret taking it, just didn't pay out. Uh, anyway, let's look at the stats. Thanks for watching. Uh, there are only two deaths there, pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, I got nothing else to talk about. I think just be just you know, don't don't forget to to not be a fucking psycho sometimes. That's all. Goodbye. <laughs>